know about your research, we'll give you free PR, we'll post it, uh, you'll win fame and fortune. We don't take a cut, so it's really free. Example, get your students involved in what you're doing. You heard already about CRAW and CDC. Um, you can involve yourself in those programs, involve your students in those programs. I want to highlight the CI Fellows program. Um, this is a quote you probably can't read. I'll talk long enough so you can read it. There are a number of CI Fellows here in the room. Would you all put up your hands? I don't know all of you. Um, these are an unbelievably talented group of students, postdoctoral fellows, that NSF is supporting through CRA. Um, if they don't already have jobs for next year, you ought to grab them um, because they're really talented. I can tell you because I was part of the review process, they're unbelievably talented. The broader impact of this that I want to highlight is a decision we made in the review process, what we call MAX2. So we had a bunch of criteria. First of all, their track record had to be unbelievably good. But secondly, we decided we wanted to broaden who got involved. So we instituted a MAX2 rule. No more than two fellows could come from an institution. No more than two fellows could go to an institution for a home. And what this did was immediately spread out the kinds of institutions students came from and where they went. So this is a way to broaden the impact of a program. So what's a good activity? Um, number one, it explains why your research matters. If you can't tell someone in a short elevator pitch why they should care about your research, then you have a lot of work to do. Back in the days when I was a department chair, I hired a faculty member. I loved his research. I mean, I was really impressed. Everything was great. He went to submit, I think it was still a career proposal, but the equivalent back in the day. And he could not explain in that proposal why anyone not in his area should care about his research and may remember the person. I worked with him for weeks and months to try to, he could not do it. He didn't last real long either. You have to be able to explain why your research matters. A good activity attracts interest. If you can explain why your research matters in the right way, students will be attracted. Uh, funders will be attracted, that's important, and the public will be attracted. And then, of course, a good activity impacts what you do. A broader impact ought to feed back on what it is you consider important and pursue. Uh, so you can join us. We have an education group. Uh, Suzanne already mentioned it. Uh, it impacts computing education. Of course, there's CRAW and CDC. There's the Computing Community Consortium which is all about computing research futures and you ought to be involved. My advice on this, take broader impact seriously. It almost appears that NSF is going to. I don't think <laughs> most of us would uh, believe that it had in the past. Um, taxpayers deserve it. Taxpayers are the people that are funding what you're doing. You don't have the right to take the money and go off in a little ivory tower. I hate that phrase, ivory tower. Just like I hate the phrase that the university isn't the real world. The university is the real world. It's the rest of it that um, <laughs> I'm not sure about. And then a good activity, my advice is partner. You don't have to have all the great ideas. Join in with CRAW or CDC and um, get it done that way. Thank you.